Hello, welcome to the community. This is Dahad United. I'm here to bring you all the latest transfer news concerning Manchester United. Also, apart from transfer news, I'm here to talk about all the topics coming out of United for today. Starting with some transfer news um, with Benjamin Sesco, who seems to be a United target. This guy is a 21-year-old, I think 21 years, I think he's 21 or 20, a 20-year-old striker who plays for RB Leipzig, has been scoring goals, he's currently on top form. We were actually looking at him even before he came from RB Leipzig, uh, but I think he came from RB Salzburg. And um, he, of course, we know that those clubs are related to each other, so he went to Leipzig. And according to the report today, they said his, his release cost is around for 2.7 million pounds, which my United are looking to um, trigger. And they said um, negotiations are already ongoing. Of course, I would treat that news as bullshit. Of course, we are interested in him, but saying negotiations are underway, I don't really think that is true. But of course, there was a picture yesterday of his agent, who is called Elvis Bazanovic, who was actively... Um, um, present at our game against Liverpool, against Arsenal yesterday, actually. You can see from the pictures, it was pictured as Ultra for this day, but we all, we all know that Arsenal are also interested in signing a striker, and for my own view, I think he's his agent trying to offer him to this, to, to these clubs and see if we are interested, interested in him. But right here, right now, the report coming out is that United are looking to sign a older striker. So in, instead of having two young strikers, my United are looking at having two, one old and one younger striker. So if we're looking at striker targets, I feel our striker target should be someone like Ivan Tony and Yoselu at Real Madrid. Someone a little bit, a little bit older and way more experienced than Rasmus Highland. Someone he can learn off. So I don't think we're going to sign two young strikers. But according to the news, um, that's what it's being said. I know, um, yesterday, today, when I post, posted in the community, a lot of people saying that Rasmus Holland is a shit striker. He doesn't know how to score goals and blah, blah, blah. He doesn't make the runs. But one thing you need to know as a striker, if you're not, if you don't create chances for your striker, he will not get goals. Rasmus Holland is 21 years old. I don't know if we're expecting to score 100 goals, but he's 21 years old and he's still learning. This is his first season and it is not a new thing. Cavani has been here. Marshall has been, Marshall has been here. Um, many other strikers have been here. We know that if you don't create for them, they don't score goals. Being a striker at United is a graveyard shift because you have people like Anthony, uh, Anthony Greenwood, um, Rashford, um, over the years, Ganacho, they don't pass. They don't create chances for the striker. They cut in and they shoot. And with this kind of mentality, how exactly do our striker get chances to score goals when all his wingers want to do is to score goals for themselves? So, but anyway, we are being linked with Benjamin Sesco, and it's 50-50 actually. It might happen, it might not happen, but I know that we want someone older. And of course, I know that we were previously interested in Benjamin Sesco. Maybe if we, if he didn't go to Leipzig, he would have come to United and we wouldn't have signed um, Rasmus Hoyland. But right here, right now, the news coming out is that, yes, we are interested in Benjamin Sesco and we should look out for that deal. So, on to... The next thing, uh, it's been reported that Mason Greenwood is being heavily in, uh, linked to Juventus. And, uh, we know that Juventus are interested in Mason Greenwood. They're looking to get this, um, our young striker who has been having issues over the years. He's as Gaddafi. He's back. He's trying to get his car- career up to speed. He's not doing too bad. Um, but we know that clubs in, Sp- in the Spanish league has been looking for him also. Gaddafi wants him. Um, he has been linked to Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. So it's also reported that Barcelona are interested in a swap deal between Victor Roque and Mason Greenwood. But also Fabrizio Romano reported previously that Barcelona are not interested in signing Mason Greenwood. They have pulled out of, the, of that deal. But yet we are still getting reports about Mason Greenwood going to, going to Barcelona. So we don't know exactly uh, what will happen with that deal. Because who do you believe? Will you believe Fabrizio Romano or, or other sources? But it's a 50 50 deal. Anything could happen. So we just have to see. How that progresses. If you want Mason Greenwood to stay as United, early warning, early warning, that is highly unlikely to happen. My United are putting all their efforts in selling Mason Greenwood to the highest bidder. They want a bidding one for Mason Greenwood and him staying is highly unlikely. Know this now and no peace. Mason Greenwood 
not staying at Manchester United. Time to start dealing with it if you want him back. I know many of the online population want him back, but it's not looking like he's going to be back. We have, yeah, they said he's the best, uh, winger or striker we have. He's, he's better than every other person we have. Maybe he is, but right here, right now, the risk of bringing him back is so much more than his talent. So, Mr. Greenwood, not going to be back. And if you have seen this clip from our game yesterday against Arsenal, when the rain started falling, you can see how Old Trafford is leaking. Height, it got flooded from the rain yesterday, which is a total embarrassment. Old Trafford is in, in shambles, and we know that there's plans to either build a new stadium or innovate Old Trafford. But right here, we know that Sir Jim Langley highly likely to build a new stadium. He wants to build a new stadium. He wants us to have the Wembley of the Nuts. And that does not involve renovating Old Trafford. He makes knocking it down and building, building it up or knocking it down and building a new stadium close by. So, um, that's looking like it's going to happen. But you can see the clips. You can see the videos. You can see the pictures of, of how it was leaking, um, at Old Trafford yesterday. And there was also a video of how even in the away dressing room, the away dressing room also was leaking. The press area was also leaking as reported by a journalist. So, Old Trafford is in ruins and we don't know what's going to happen with Old Trafford, but it's really, 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 really important. Apart from signing players, um, getting the structure, structure in, getting the stadium sorted out is a very, very big deal. It might take some years, but we should definitely look at, you know, what we're going to do concerning the Manchester United Stadium, which is Old Trafford. And if we're going to get a new stadium, I will innovate it. Either way, let's see what happens with that. And also, there were leaks, um, for our 2024, like, for next season's jersey, basically, we had some leaks concerning that. Tell me what you think in the comments section below. What do you think about the style, the look of what might be, what might be our new home jersey for next season? Tell me what you think about it. But yeah, tell me what you think about all the news I talked about, Benjamin Sesco, um, a new striker target for United, um, Rasmus Hoyland, what is the situation, the situation with Rasmus Hoyland? About us not creating chances for him. And also, in terms of fitness, we'll be hoping that we have maybe um, Bruno Fernandes back for our game against Newcastle on Wednesday. And we'll be looking at, you know, getting more players back for the final game um, on Sunday. And let's see how we can shape up for our game against Man City in the final. But that's all for now. Remember, any transfer updates we get, you're going to get it on the page. You're going to get it on the channel. And yeah, and I'll see you all on the next one. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe. Follow this community. This is Diehard United. We're trying to grow this community of um, Diehard United fans. And I will see you all on the next one.